Today we've got a brand new Cooper S on the lift and I'm going to show you how to do an oil and filter change without even lifting the vehicle. We've got this car on the lift right now to do some other jobs to it, but what we're going to do is we're going to essentially draw the oil out of the dipstick tube with the topside oil changer, which is basically going to use suction to just pull the thing into a vacuum. It'll just pull all six quarts, five quarts out of any vehicle. What you're going to do is you're going to pump this thing into a vacuum, get a good vacuum going. Then you're going to take the special suction tube, pull out your dipstick, and we're going to push that all the way down till you feel it kind of bottom out to the bottom of the oil pan. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is release the special check valve and you'll feel it already pulling the unit. You see the oil starting to come. When you start hearing bubbles, that's when you know it's sucking air and it's almost completed. So when you start seeing that, you give it one last little push down and it'll draw the last end of it in. So the crankcase is now empty. You pull your tube out. The unit comes with a cap for each side. You remove your pump. You remove your, fill, uh, your suction cap. You take it to the recycle center. It'll be ready to go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the oil filter. To do this project, we're going to need a couple of tools and you're going to need a quality oil filter. This one's made by man. We need an 8 millimeter nut driver to remove the coolant reservoir and move it aside. And we're going to need a 6.27 millimeter. In this case, what will work is an inch and 1 16th socket, a swivel, an extension, and a ratchet. So let's do the project. Okay, for those of you who've been wondering where the oil filter is on the Cooper S, it's hidden. It's hidden right down behind the coolant bottle reservoir right there. To get to it, we've got to take this coolant bottle reservoir retaining bolt out. It takes an 8 millimeter nut driver. Now I'm not going to take the whole coolant bottle out. What I'm going to do is just pull it aside and get it out of the way far enough. Now these are a lot of plastic components. You don't want to do a lot of hyperflexing of anything. And what we're going to do is take a look right down in here. I'll get you a flashlight here. There's the top of the oil filter cover. It's plastic, so you want to use a six-point socket for sure. Do not use a 12-point socket. Once you round the corners, then you'll be buying a new cover. There you can see I've got the ratchet and the flex unit and stop in position and we're just going to loosen it up right now. So here's our filter housing with the old oil filter in it. It has a little resistance but it just comes out, it snaps out. You're going to take your O-ring, comes with the filter, replace the O-ring, goes in the groove on the outside here and when you do this you always want to put a little grease or a little bit of oil you can put some old oil on it. That'll typically take care of it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our new filter. It does not, doesn't have a direction, so what you're going to do is you're going to put that in there and it'll fit snugly into the, into the housing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fit it over the filter uh, uh, mount on the engine. Once you've got it started, you'll be able to thread it all the way down, almost finger tight. When you start getting a little bit of resistance, you'll get five or six turns on it, then you'll get a little resistance, and that's when you're ready to go with your ratchet.
You'll feel it start to get a little resistance, then you'll feel it slowly bottom out. And you just want to snug it. There's no reason to tighten it too tight because what's going to happen is you don't want to damage the threads on the filter housing. So now we're ready to refasten our coolant reservoir bottle. There's a small pin at the bottom of the bottle that has to fit into a rubber grommet into the front of the core support as a stabilizer for the bottom end. And that unit will fit in. Then there's two safety tabs right up here that will catch over. They're small little tabs that will catch over the bottle. And you feel them latch into position. Then you're going to refasten that 8 millimeter bolt. And you're set. Add your oil and you're ready to go.